So I think of the maker movement as being the web generation meets the real world. The idea that we want to hack this physical world in the way that we've been used to hacking computers. Being a maker is just not taking the world as it's given. That's, you know, I, I, it gives me an identity. I'm from Auburn, California, and I make Sylvia Super Awesome Maker Show. My name is Mark Dwight, and I am the founder of Rickshaw Bagworks and the founder of SF Made. I, I make bags. I'm the CEO of Autodesk, and I'm also a maker. It's not simply hobbyists. In many cases, we have people who are prototyping a next generation of a product. In the United States, the high school shop classes, metal shop and wood shop classes, are gone. One reason they used to shut them down was liability. Hey, kids could hurt themselves with these machines. But they were probably shut down because people didn't value that activity as much as they might have. This is the Open ROV. It's got a video camera on board, and it allows you to see what it sees on the surface live. I mean, the whole concept of being ripped off is really one of kind of the old way of doing things. If we come up with an idea, go through the two-year often patent process, by the time that that goes through, we're already a million miles ahead. You know, I think 3D printing has gotten a lot of press time. 3D printers are tools. The maker movement happens independent of 3D printing. Local economies and global supply chains can coexist. There are new things that we can do and new ways of doing them. And that's going to foster a new generation of manufacturing. So today I would say the maker movement is still seen as a kind of a hobby. But once this ecosystem is in full swing, I think it's going to fundamentally revolutionize not only manufacturing, but also industries like education, healthcare, and financial services. At the end of a workday, where you can look at a pile of something and say, you know what, I got this much done today, or you can look at an object and say, I made this. I think there's really something magical about that.